Hello everybody, welcome to the IMIT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another episode in my Microsoft Cloud VDI series. Uh, we have finished the Microsoft DevBox part of the series and we, we started the Windows 365 um, part topic um, last episode. I did a bit of an introduction into what is Windows 365, what's Cloud PC, and now we're going to start going into some more details around uh, not just the service, but the different flavors of it, and also start doing some demos about how we can purchase and set it all up, and some of the prerequisites that need to be met as well. And that integration, especially with Intune, which for enterprise is very important. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get started with this episode. Um, so, this is the Microsoft Cloud VDI series. Uh, so, we're going to continue with that Windows 5 uh, business and Cloud PC topic. Uh, so we'll talk about some of the prerequisites. Uh, we'll talk about how and where you can buy a subscription and assigning those licenses. And finally, we're actually going to do the demo of purchasing our subscription and assigning that license. So let's talk about some of the prerequisites from M365 business. Um, so th there are there are no licensing prerequisites. You don't need to have, you just need to buy a license. There's nothing you need to have in place before that. Um, for the best sort of onboarding experience, you, there's, the, there's a troubleshooting guide, which I'll, I'll put the link in the um, description. Um, and, and that article is going to help make sure you can optimize your environment preferences for Windows 365 business. For example, uh, it's going to help you if you know if you want to use multi-factor authentication, you can look at access policies, or even Intune and integrate that. We're all going to be doing all that, and um, we're going to be looking at that guide ourselves. Um, we'll be doing all that in, in in our demos. So I strongly recommend you use that link and have a look for yourself. Uh, let's talk a little bit about buying those subscriptions. So there are two ways. Um, there's two different ways in which you can buy a Windows 365 subscription. Uh, you can either do it through the uh, Windows 365 product site, or the way we're, we're going to do it in the demo is through the actual admin center. And after you buy a subscription, you can use the admin center to assign that license. We're going to be doing that in our demo today. When we're buying a subscription from the product site, if you don't already have that M365, if you don't already have an M365 subscription, you can buy the Windows 365 subscription in, in that product site. We'll, we'll try and show that in the demo as well. Um, and essentially, you 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 just you just follow the steps, find the find the subscription, find the type that you want, and just obviously depending on how you pay for it. If you're just using a credit card, then you can use your credit card to buy it. Um, you can use the admin central zone, which I'm going to do in the demo. Um, but you know, you need to make sure you've got your tenant, uh, and at least you need to have at least billing admin or global admin as well to do that. Uh, let's talk a little bit about signing licenses. So this is no different to how you assign a license for M365. Uh, you know, whether you've purchased your subscription through the Windows product site or through the admin center, the assigning licenses bit is actually the same. Um, you can do it through the billing page on the M365 admin center, or you can go to windows365.com and assign the license there. And as soon as you assign that license to that user, uh, Windows 365 then will create that cloud PC for that user. And this can take up to 30 minutes as well, so just keep that in mind. You can assign different M3, uh, Windows 365 business license types to a user based on the user's business needs, basically. Um, so we're going to move into the demo portal now. We're going to go through that purchasing and, and licensing um, sort of process. So please join me in the demo. So here we are in the Microsoft 365 uh, Admin Center. Um, and we actually want to go to Marketplace. We can actually go through billing as well. Um, but I want to go to Marketplace, and here's where... Um, essentially look at gives you some recommendations but also if we go to all products from here we can actually search for um, again you can look by category or you can just type in here windows 365 and then that's going to find so here we have the windows 365 enterprise um, which is what we actually want we've got the frontline version there um, we've got free reasons by business. So I'm actually going to go for the enterprise because I want to do the Intune integration. Um, so click on, and you can see there it's starting at £62 per license. Um, so go to details here. I do think this gives me an option of a trial, which I may be cheeky and use that. So let's select. So again, here you can see all the different plans down here actually. So again, the, the bigger the plan, obviously, the, the more cost it's going to be. So you can see there um, six vCPU, one terabyte is. Nearly three hundred pounds per month, which is quite expensive. Uh, but again, you might have a need for that's more of a power user. You get two and four vCPU here. Um, so I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go cheap and cheerful for the for the purpose of the demo. Uh, at least I want at least yeah. Let's do let's do two CPU and eight gig at least. Um, okay, so let's go here. 
I want that one there. Let's do one for now. And let's just... Um, no, it's not giving me the option of a trial. That's fine. We'll just buy that. And then we go through the whole checkout process and then we can apply the license. So I'm going to go, it's going to take a minute to go through the purchasing and then let's uh, go into the, uh, signing the license. Okay, so I've gone through the purchasing now. We've purchased that. We can actually look there. It gives you an, an option to manage your license and your, um, your products there. So here we can assign the license if we wanted to. Um, the status is still still pending, it says. But if we're going to our users, going to active users here, uh, I'm just going to try and find my account. Uh, there I am. And I should be able to go into licenses here. And there we are. Assign myself that license. There we go. So that's assigned. So what's going to happen now? That's going to start provisioning that PC for me. And what we'll do is we'll come back in the next episode and we'll, uh, in the demo, we'll start off by looking at how that's provisioned. Uh, in the demo, then we'll continue kind of doing all that sort of, um, before I actually log into, I'll do a lot more preparations, all the prerequisites I want to do. So we'll, we'll go into that later on. So yeah, hopefully again, I'm, I'm trying to start off at, you know, in as much detail as I can. Um, hopefully you're gaining something from this if you've not used Windows 365 before. Um, and obviously we'll start going into using it and provisioning it. Well, it's provisioning it itself, but that integration with Intune especially. Um, and again, some of the use cases, which are quite, it's quite vital. I want to try and differentiate between Microsoft DevBox, Windows 365 and Azure Virtual Desktop and where they sit in the industry at the moment. Uh, so yeah, some useful links in the in the description below. Um, connect with me on, on socials, please. You know, Twitter and LinkedIn or X on LinkedIn. Happy to, to talk to people and answer any questions. And hopefully you're enjoying this series so far. So thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.